what a Scudetto would mean to the fans in Naples will be as special as anything we've seen. And I'm certainly hoping for it on that front. The fact that they've gone this season already away from home against Roma and Lazio, now Atalanta, Milan as well, and they've picked up 12 points on those four trips. It has to be their season. It, they're just 12 very important points. They're playing great football. They're winning even when they're up against it. Uh, I've just loved what I've seen from Spalletti. And let's go to the Champions League, if you like, because obviously the draw has been very favourable for them. There was the the risk of Paris Saint-Germain, obviously finishing second in that group with Benfica and Juve. But they've got Antrak Frankfurt. With respect to the Europa League winners, it's, as he, it's potentially the easiest possible draw Napoli could have asked for. Yeah, so let's just quickly read out all of the, the, the Italian size and the draws they've got. So Napoli, as Adriano just said, Eintracht Frankfurt, Milan drew Tottenham, Inter drew Porto, Roma got FC Salzburg, Juventus got Nantes, uh, Fiorentina got Braga in the Europa Conference League, and Lazio got Kluge. Um, I, this doesn't, I need to clarify with what I'm about to say that what I'm saying does not mean I expect all the Italian teams to win because I don't. But if I'm being honest, I think the three Champions League teams, Italian sides, probably Should. all got about as good a draw as they could have had, realistically, because um, both um, Milan and Inter were in pot two, and there were some much more intimidating matchups than Tottenham and Porto. And Napoli, as you've just said, Adriana, well, I think it's exactly what Spalletti said. It wasn't PSG was the main thing, I think, that was on everyone's mind, probably in, in pot one. So... Definitely Wonderful. look like... Um, oh, no, they've wasted that. Yeah, yes. Um, well, yeah, Napoli couldn't get Liverpool, but um, other yeah. teams would have been thinking that. Very early to say it. Everything's going to change after the after the World Cup. But gut reactions, um, Italian teams, which ones do we see going through and which ones do we see not going through? For me, I think all seven should be very confident with the draw. Uh, and will all seven go through? I highly doubt it because we always <laughs> see some shocks and surprises with the Italians in Europe. But for me, uh, look, Europa League, Juve, Roma, they should be going through. Lazio, Fiorentina, if they are taking the competition seriously, there are absolutely no excuses. I think Napoli against Eintracht Frankfurt, with respect, again, it's almost as easy as it could have been. And that form... Napoli, the whole squad not going to the World Cup. I think they'll be very, very well positioned come mid-February for that first leg, of course, away from home in Frankfurt. The return in early March will be in Naples. Milan and Inter, two very interesting draws. I think if there is to be a slip-up, these are the toughest draws. Must respect Porto because what the Portuguese teams have done mm. in the Champions League this, this season... They've been at a high level for good reason. Of course, Porto winning an interesting group, not the toughest group. Club Bruges in second place there. Obviously, they did eliminate Atletico Madrid. That must not be discounted by Leverkusen in that group as well. Look, Milan took on Porto home and away last season in the Champions League group stage. A different level of Milan there. I am confident Inter will go through. But again, post-World Cup, form, fitness, time will tell. But Milan Tottenham, I think, is is the one. That's a very interesting one. Of course, Antonio Conte will return to Italy, the first leg at San Siro, the return in London. This is a team which will certainly be a good test of where this Milan under Pioli are at. Their first time in the knockout stage for nine years as a club. Pioli's first time with Milan in the knockout stage. I think this is the perfect opponent to get a real good guide on where Milan are at. It's not a Bayern Munich. It's not a Real Madrid where well, chances are very slim. There's a great chance here, but they're going to have to be at their best with full respect to contest Tottenham to get through to the quarterfinals.